twat. T W A T twat. Twat is born of a long tradition of comparing people we don't like to genitalia, but it sets itself apart from words like dick, prick, cock, and cunt because we can't quite decide how bad it is. Twat is judged moderate enough to be included in a film with a 12 certificate, yet on telly it's categorised as strong language, unacceptable for family viewing, along with minge and pussy. As a noun, twat lives in a slang sweet spot, softer than cunt, but harsher than fanny. However, twat's offensiveness also varies depending on where in Britain you use it. The further north you go, the more distasteful it becomes. You can use it as a verb for hitting someone, I twatted him, or drinking too much, I got twatted last night. You can twat on, read a twat mag, be a twat head or a twat face, and be twatty. And perhaps to use one of the harsher insults in the twat arsenal, you can look like a bag full of smacked twats, a delightful term used in the 90s to describe an unattractive woman. So where does twat come from? Twat has been a slang term for the vagina since the mid-17th century, but it didn't become an insult until the early 1900s. One theory is that it derives from the Old English thwitan, meaning to cut off, the idea being that a woman's genitals are simply the amputated version of a man's. Thwitan became thwaite, a word that can still be found in surnames today. Braithwaite and Applethwaite translate quite literally into broad twat and apple twat. A few twats live on in place names, like the villages of Twat in the Orkney and the Shetland Islands, both narrowly beaten in a 2016 rudest place name poll by Boggy Bottom in Hertfordshire, Brown Willy in Cornwall and Bell End in Worcestershire. Today, twat remains inoffensive enough to be included in Google's autocomplete function, but in 2009, David Cameron got himself in trouble over the word when he said on live radio, the trouble with Twitter is that too many twits might make a twat. But perhaps poet John Cooper Clarke put it best when he said that sometimes no other word will do. What kind of creature bore you? Was it some kind of bat? They can't find a good word for you, but I can, twat. about twat, you can always try crinkum crankum, slang from the 1600s that described something full of twists and turns, including, as one dictionary of the time put it, a woman's commodity. Twat!